going to be reading in the, in the Revelation of Jesus Christ in chapter 1. Revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. And he sent and signified it by his angel unto his servant John. To bear record of the word of God and of the testimony of Jesus Christ and of all things that he saw. Blessed is he that readeth, in other words, happy is he that readeth, and they that hear the words of this prophecy, and keep those things which are written therein, for the time is at hand. John, to the seven churches which are in Asia, grace be uh, unto you, and peace from him which is, and which was, and which is to come and from the seven spirits which are before his throne. So we see here the eternal one, the one who was, which is to come, sorry, the one who is, and which was, and which is to come, and from the seven spirits which are before his throne, and from Jesus Christ, who is the faithful witness, and the first begotten of the dead, and the prince of the kings of the earth. Unto him that loved us, and washed us from our sins, in his own blood. When can you say that right now, that the Lord Jesus Christ is the one who's washed you from your sins, forgiven you of all of your sins through faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, and his precious blood that was shed upon the cross. In her we have redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness of sins. Yes, unto him that loved us and washed us from our sins in his own blood. That precious blood has the power to wash your sins away today, my friend. Still, this many years after the crucifixion of Christ, that blood has eternal value. It's the blood of the Son of God, the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world. I think of John. John the Baptist, when he was in the wilderness, he could point to the Lord Jesus Christ, point people to him, and say, Behold the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world. Have your sins been totally blotted out, washed away in the precious blood of our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ? This is what we all so desperately, urgently need. Forgiveness for our sins through faith in our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. The one who died on the cross can be your Saviour. I wonder, have you put your faith alone in him? and hath made us kings and priests unto God and his Father. To him be glory and dominion for ever and ever. Amen. Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him, and all kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him. Even so, Amen. I am Alpha and Omega, as you probably already know, as the first and last letters of the Greek, Greek alphabet. The beginning and the ending, saith the Lord, which is, and which was, and which is to come, the Almighty. I, John, who also am your brother and companion in tribulation, and in the kingdom and patience of Jesus Christ was in the isle that is called Patmos for the word of God and for the testimony of Jesus Christ. I was in the spirit on the Lord's day, that is the first day of the week, that is a Sunday, and heard behind me a great voice as of a trumpet saying, I am Alpha and Omega, the first and the last. And what thou seest, write in the book, and send it unto the seven churches which are in Asia, 
under Ephesus, and under Smyrna, and under Pergamos, and under uh, Thyatira, and under Sardis, and unto Philadelphia, and unto Laodicea. And I turned to see the voice that spake with me, and being turned I saw seven golden candlesticks, or lampstands. In the midst of the seven candlesticks, one light unto the Son of Man. This is none other than the Son of God, the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, one like unto the Son of Man, clothed with a garment down to the foot, and girt about the paps with a golden girdle. His head and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire, and his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burned in a furnace, and his voice as a sound of many waters. This is none other than the Son of God when he died on the cross for you and for me. And he had in his right hand seven stars, and out of his mouth went a sharp two-edged sword, and his countenance was as the sun shineth in his strength. When I saw him, I fell at his feet as dead. And he laid his right hand upon me, saying unto me, Fear not, I am the first and the last. I am he that liveth and was dead, or, if you like, became dead. And behold, I am alive forevermore. Amen and have the keys of hell and of death. Write the things that thou, or which thou hast. Seen and the things which are, and the things which shall be hereafter. So this is basically a book of prophecy. A lot of this book is prophecy, it's that which will come to pass in a coming day. These things here are current at this particular point. It does shift from time to time into the future and round about and then backwards. But it um, yes, says here, like the things that thou hast seen, which thou hast seen, and the things which are, and the things which shall be hereafter, that is, into the future. The mystery of the seven stars which thou sawest in my right hand and the seven golden candlesticks, the seven stars are the angels of the seven churches. The seven candlesticks which thou sawest are the seven churches. Revelation of Jesus Christ in chapter 2. Under the angel of the church uh, of Ephesus write, these things saith he that holdeth the seven stars in his right hand, and walketh in the, seven, in the midst of the seven golden candlesticks, I know thy works, and thy labour, and thy patience, and how thou canst not bear them which are evil, and thou hast tried them which say they are apostles, and are not, and hast found them liars, and hast borne, and hast patience, and for my name's sake has laboured and has not fainted. Nevertheless, I have somewhat against thee because thou hast left thy first love, or thy chief love, if you like. He's talking about himself. They have left the love of the Lord Jesus Christ. Remember, therefore, from whence or from where thou art fallen, and repent, and do the first works, or else I will come unto thee quickly, and will remove thy candlestick, or thy, or thy lampstand, out of this place, except thou repent. But this thou hast, that thou hatest the deeds of the Nicolaitans, which I also hate. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. 
To him that overcometh will I give to eat of the tree of life which is in the midst of the paradise of God. In other words, in the midst of the garden of God. And unto the angel of the church of, in Smyrna write, These things are said the first and the last, which was dead and is alive. I know thy works and tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich, and I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, that ye may be tried, and ye shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit said unto the churches. He that over overcometh shall not be heard of the second death. And to the angel of the church of the, in per Pergamos write, These things saith he which hath the sharp sword with two edges, uh, I know thy works, where thou and where thou dwellest, even where Satan's seed is. And thou holdest fast my name, and hast not denied my faith, even in those days wherein Antipas was my faithful martyr, who was slain among you where Satan dwelleth. But I have a few things against thee, because thou hast there them that hold the doctrine of Balaam, who taught Balak to cast a stumbling block before the children of Israel, to eat things sacrificed unto idols, and to commit fornication. So hast thou them that hold the doctrine of the Nicolaitans, which think I hate. Repent, or else I will come unto thee quickly, and will fight against them with the sword of my mouth. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. To him that overcometh will I give to eat of the hidden manna, and will give him a white stone, and in the stone a new name written, which no man knoweth, save him, or except he that receiveth it. And under the angel of the church in uh, Thyatira write, These things saith the Son of God, who hath his eyes like unto a flame of fire, and his feet are like fine brass. I know thy works, and charity, and service, and faith, and thy patience, and thy works, and the last to be more than the first. Notwithstanding, I have a few things uh, against thee, because thou sufferest thou uh, that woman Jezebel, which calleth herself a prophetess, to teach and to seduce my servants to teach and to seduce my servants to commit fornication and to eat things sacrificed unto idols and I gave her a space to repent of her fornication and she repented not because I will cast her, her into a bed and them that commit adultery with her into great tribulation, except thou repent. They repent of their deeds. And I will kill her children with death, and all the churches shall know that I am he which searcheth the reins and hearts, and I will give her unto every one of you according to your works. But I say unto her, but unto you I say, and unto the rest in Thyatira, as many as have not this doctrine, and which have not known the depths of Satan, as they speak, I will put upon you none other burden, but that which ye have already hold fast, till 
I come. And he that overcometh, that keepeth my words, my works unto the end, to him will I give power over the nations. And he shall rule them with a rod of iron. As the vessels of a potter shall they be broken to shivers, even as I received of my fathers. And I will give him the morning star. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit said unto the churches. It's important that we hear what God says. That the Lord Jesus Christ says. Now, the Lord Jesus Christ, he is God. Many people don't understand this. The Lord Jesus Christ is God, manifest in the flesh. He's God in a body. Now, we need to understand that. And we need to get right with God. We need to have forgiveness for our sins. Yes, the only way we can have forgiveness for our sins is by putting our faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the one who loved us unto death, even the death of the cross. So we need to understand that we are sinners when we're born into this world. For there is no difference, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Because of that, we're heading down to hell, and God does not want you to go down to hell. So he sent the Lord Jesus Christ to be crucified upon the cross as the, and he paid the full price in his own precious blood for our sins. But to make use of that, to be come into the good of that, you need to put your faith in Christ. Yes, for whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. That can be you right now. As you listen to this message, you need to get right with God. You need to receive forgiveness for your sins so that you can enter into heaven. You see, you cannot be in heaven apart from faith in our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ, the one who was crucified for us upon the cross, that you and I might receive forgiveness for our sins. Moving on now to the revelation of Jesus Christ in chapter 3. And under the angel of the church who inside us write, these things saith he that hath the seven spirits of God and the seven stars, I know thy works, that thou hast a name that thou livest and art dead. Be watchful and strengthen the things which remain that are ready to die, for I have not found thy works perfect before God. Remember therefore how thou hast received and heard, and hold fast, and repent. If therefore thou shalt not watch, I will come on thee as a thief, and thou shalt not know what hour I will come upon thee. Thou hast a few names even in Sardis, which have not defiled their garments, and they shall walk with me in white, for they are worthy. He that overcometh the same shall be clothed in white raiment, and I will not blot out his name out of the book of life, but I will confess his name before my Father and before his angels. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit said unto the churches. And to the angel of the church in Philadelphia write, these things saith he that is holy, he that is true, he that hath the key of David, he that openeth and no man, sorry, he that shutteth and no man openeth, I know thy works, behold, I have set before thee an open door, and no man can shut it, for thou hast a little, little strength, and hast kept my word, and hast not denied my name. Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan, which say they are Jews, and are not, but do lie. Behold, I will make them to come and worship before thy feet, and to know that I have loved thee. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep the thee from the hour of temptation 
which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the world, upon the earth, sorry. Behold, I come quickly. Hold fast that which uh, thou hast, that no man take thy crown. If that overcometh, uh, I will make a pillar in the temple of my God, and he shall go no more out. And I will write upon him the name of my God, and the name of the city of my God, which is New Jerusalem, which cometh down out of heaven from my God. And I will write upon him my new name. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. So these things obviously were written to uh, the people of God in certain locations who were gathering together unto the precious name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the one who bought them with his own precious blood. I wonder, have you been saved by the grace of God through faith in our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ? Have you put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ and become a child of God? For you are all the children of God by faith in Christ Jesus. Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners. That means he came to save you and he came to save me. For there is no difference for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. This is why we need God's salvation. We need forgiveness for our sins. But the only way we can receive that forgiveness is if we come in repentance toward God that is, a change of mind, simply agree with God that you are a sinner, and then put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ and your soul will be saved. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Thanks for listening, thanks for watching, I appreciate that. If you're interested in this, look me up, youtube.com forward slash peace by Jesus Christ. God bless you. Remember, for the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord.